Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker Magazine. My name is Danny DeLillo and we're here at the Cambridge Los Angeles showroom in West Hollywood and I'm here with Rachel Goldberg with her movie, Muted. Rachel, it's a delight to have you in the studio. Thank you, it's a delight to be here. You guys are awesome. I love new filmmakers. I love you. I love Larry and Susie and it's just awesome to be here. There's so much love in the room. I love it. Um, tell us a brief synopsis of your film. Sure. Um, Muted is about media discrepancy when a child of color goes missing. So it's about an African-American mom of two, Lena Gladwell, and her youngest daughter goes missing mm -hmm. and it's her struggle to garner media support and help from law enforcement in order to find her child. I really loved your film. Like, I was completely moved by the subject and the performances. Um, how did you come up with the idea? So I didn't actually write it. Um, Brandy Ford wrote it, and she had been working on a documentary about Matrice Richardson, who was a young African-American girl from Los Angeles who went missing. And it was news in LA, and Brandy's from Houston, and when she was talking to her friends in Houston, they hadn't heard anything about it, and that was really shocking to her. So she started to look into it and realize there's just this huge discrepancy. So she was working on that documentary and then eventually decided she wanted to do a narrative piece. So she wrote this piece and then they put a call out for directors and a friend sent it to me and I thought it was a really important subject matter. So I came on board to direct. I bet you were like delighted because I mean it's, it's such an incredible story yeah. um, with a very important subject. Absolutely. What Absolutely. was it like to direct this amazing film? I mean, it was definitely a gift. Chandra Wilson is just a force to be reckoned with. She is such a phenomenal actress. She's also a phenomenal director. Yeah. Um, and she's just, she's just incredible. She brings so much, and she, her emotional depth and availability, she's just an incredible talent. So working with her was a huge gift. And I got to work with a lot of people I've worked with before. Greg Nicolette, who's a composer. Robin Lippin, who's my casting director. Um, they were incredible, and then I got to work with some new people, Richard Viola, who was our DP, Lex Benedict, who, who was our editor. So I just had an incredible team of people, and so it was really, it was really wonderful. Working. You really did, and it, it really showed, and speaking of Chandra, like, I, I adore her in Grey's Anatomy. I've like, watched her throughout the years, but she had such a role for this film. How did you come about casting, casting her? So Robin Lippin is a very dear friend and an incredible casting director. She's done a ton of television and feature films. And we worked together on my last three films. Mm -hmm. And my very first film, when I had the opportunity to work with her, I literally got on my hands and knees and begged her because she usually <laughs> do short films. But now we have a relationship, so she was kind enough to come on board. And Chandra was our first choice. And actually, you know, Robin went, she knew um, Chandra's representatives. And she had a feeling that this is a subject that Chandra would respond to, and fortunately Chandra did. And she's yeah. just, like I said, incredibly giving. Like, not only did she give so much on set, she's talked about the film on The View, on the Queen Latifah show, she's promoted wow. the film, she's promoted the message. She is just, like, the most beautiful, amazing human being. So, oh, that's, that's so nice to hear, isn't yeah. it? Um, yeah. Now, I mean, as a director, um, there is, if you haven't seen Muted yet, you have to see it, um, but... I mean, there's moments where you're just, com I mean, I, I have my heart went to my foot. Like, it's just an incredible performance. As a director, did, is that, did you have a certain style that you asked you know, your, your actors to do? Or, I mean, because there's some really touching moments in, the, yeah. in that film. How was it, like, directing the actors for you? I mean, if you cast well, that takes care of 90% of it for you. So mm -hmm. I was really fortunate with Chandra and Malcolm Jamal Warner and Danielle Watts. They're all just such phenomenal talents. Mm -hmm. um, and in terms of, of Chandra's role, we met very, very early on and just talked very briefly in mm -hmm. broad strokes. But she obviously, I mean, she's a mom. Like, she, mm. she gets this. She, she really didn't need my help. No. So, you know, the, the challenge was there's so many, and, and not like a spoiler alert, but there's, there's so many um, really difficult moments of sadness in the film. Mm -hmm. So sort of saving it for the end. And yeah. she is just amazing. Like, she didn't need my help. She yeah. had that on her own. And, um, yeah, she's just incredible. Yeah. She's just incredible. What's it like now, because you are a New Filmmakers alumni. Yeah. Um, what's it like to have your film, this film selected for New Filmmakers Los Angeles? It's amazing. You guys are literally one of the best film festivals out there. Aww. Absolutely. Like, I've been so lucky. My work has filmed all over the world. I've probably been at like 50 plus fests. Mm -hmm. But nobody takes care of their filmmakers like you guys. I mean, Aww. just this, this like incredible gift that I get to do an interview with you that's going to be online with Movie Maker Magazine and 
you know, you take care of your alum and you really celebrate film. Every month is a different festival. Yeah. I mean, and the venue's amazing and everyone is so nice and so supportive. It's really, it's an incredible, incredible festival. It's an honor to be Aww. part of it. I need Kleenex, guys. This is, this is getting emotional. Um, no, it's, that's that's very kind because it's you know your film is. It, I I love. I absolutely love your work, and and I'm excited because this is you had success with this film, didn't you? Yeah. Um, it 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 got picked up, which is fantastic as well, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, it's always great when short films distribution companies you know pick up your wonderful vision, which is very very good. Um, but I want to know what is next for you, Rachel. For me, I'm working on a couple of feature films. One is based on another short that I did called Neighbors that actually mm -hmm. screened through New Filmmakers. And the feature version is called Transformation Awaits. Mm -hmm. And we've been very lucky. It won a grand prize in screenwriting at Rhode Island. It was wow. a quarter finalist for Nichols. It was selected for the Film Independent Screenwriting Lab. We, got, we were selected for the Sundance Financing Initiative. Wow. So we're really lucky. And I've teamed up with Triangle Road Entertainment to produce it. And we've raised a good chunk of money. We still have a good chunk to go, <laughs> but um, so please help Rachel in her films because honestly, it's it's amazing. So that's yeah, great. So that's yeah, the next project that's for the you. Next big project for me. Yeah. Well, we love you. I we love, love you. your film, thank and you. you're very talented. Thank and you. Uh, thank you for sharing Muted with us. And we yeah. look forward to following more of your journey. Thank you. Thank you very so much, much, Rachel. Thank you.